my warm greetings on the International Day of Women and Girl Child. To include, uh, to further advance gender equality and empowerment of women and girls, in 2015, the UN General Assembly declared 11th February as the International Day for Women and Girls, in science particularly. So, uh, in fact, if it's very interesting to see that despite of talking about this topic at various levels throughout the years, when we look at, you know, talking at the highest global levels, when we look at uh, the Nobel Prize, in 120 years of its institution, women include only 58 out of 962 awardees. So, which is just about 6% of the total. And in fact, 2020 was a very brilliant year because it was four women awardees who were awarded in 2020. In fact, if we look at it, the picture is emerging very, uh, it's a nice positive picture which is emerging. And women's enrollment in the colleges, universities has increased in the past few decades. But if you look in India, there has been a near complete separation of research from undergraduate science teaching. Because women are uh, in a major way involved in teaching uh, science and math subject in schools, in colleges, etc. But if we look at the percentage of women in faculty at senior positions in high profile scientific institutions like the TIFR, the IITs or the Indian Institute of Science or CSIR, DBT or all the forestry institutions, it still remains rather low. But probably now that at the entry level we are having more women, this picture will also change for better in the future. Now the our theme for this year, which is uh, equ equity, diversity and inclusion, water unites us. Another very interesting theme. In fact, the entire world talks about water wars, you know, conflicts waged over disparities in uh, water, uh, in access to water resources. But probably if we turn the metaphor on its head, we can also talk about water peace. So, uh, in fact, there is a new branch of international uh, affairs which uh, talks about water diplomacy. But if you see the critical role that women have to play, water is important for everybody. But for women, particularly at the grassroots levels, you know, we, are, we have just talked about the women at the scientific level. Definitely their research inputs will be very important. But if we look at the women at the grassroots levels, they are not only the beneficiaries of different scientific research and activities, but also the agents of change. And they, are, they also bear the brunt of any kind of negative impacts on water resources. We know of situations where, uh, you know, women's education, particularly girls' education has been hampered due to the dwindling water resources in the vicinity of habitations. We know about the diseases and food insecurity and water insecurity issues, how they impact the women. But at the same time, we also do realize the very, very critical role that the women at the front line can also play in restoration of our water resources and also in trying to achieve our SDG 6 which is on uh, water uh, security. So uh, uh, in case of uh, you know women uh, being at the forefront in the movements that take place you know for forest conservation we have talked about the Chipko movement which was spearheaded by the women. In case of water also there are se several movements all over the world some of which have a very, very strong involvement of women. Within our own country, we have several programs, you know, which have been initiated by the government of India through its Ministry of Jal Shakti, uh, which, which could be Catch the Rain program or, uh, uh, you know, the uh, uh, Har Ghar uh, Jal uh, program or even, uh, you know, Water Resource Conservation program. All these programs have women at the forefront. Even as part of the Namami Gange program, the trained women as Ganga Prairies are working towards the restoration of these wetlands and rivers and securing livelihoods at the same time looking at their own uh, you know, livelihoods and lives and health. So critical role of women at every level is important, particularly in terms of securing water resources access and and you know it is connected vertically as well as horizontally so women at the forefront 
being given uh, the you know the opportunities to come there are several programs of the science and technology which are providing opportunities to women and girls who have been forced to leave their education particularly in stem fields which they can continue today we have the very ambitious gati program of the department of science and technology which is trying to you know uh, create a, a very positive environment for women working in scientific institutions in the stem field so all these actually should as i said should be linked both vertically and horizontally whatever we are doing at the highest levels should also be uh, the the thought of the women at the front line of environmental changes challenges water security should be kept in mind and whatever technologies that are being developed what are whatever opportunities that are being developed should be distributed in an equitable manner which also includes inclusivity so extremely important and very interestingly uh, our own country where we say that the economic gender gap is in fact larger than the political gap but it is also the country which has a very small gender gap in stem in higher education and particularly in the area of computers and cloud computing which is largely considered a male bastion in fact india along with italy is one of the countries which is closest to gender parity so uh, we are uh, we have been at the forefront of several such achievements in case of women leaders women uh, you know uh, acclaimed or unacclaimed but at the forefront of several changes positive changes that has taken place for the betterment of human kind and i wish you again all the very best on this day and i also wish that we carry on this movement forward with inclusivity including the diverse women and of course with all the men supporting us to achieve this gender inclusivity in management in accessing our water resources jai hind